obviously the biggest news around Germany has, has been the, the managerial merry-go-round, which has been going since February time. Since as as Marco Rosa joining Brissy, or joining Brissy Dortmund was the thing that set this all off, as obviously that left Brissy and Munchen Glad back then looking for a manager. And it didn't help that then Joachim Lowe announced he was going to leave as as German as German national team coach. And so that's when it all started to kick off. So Hansi Flick is a the ex Bayern Munich manager has gone to the German national team. Julian Nagelsmann has gone to Bayern Munich. Jesse March has came from RB Salzburg to RB Leipzig. Um, Eintracht Frankfurt's ex manager, Adi Hutter, has moved to Brissi Mönchengladbach to place Marco Rosa, who is obviously meant to Brissi Dortmund, as I said. He has been replaced by Oliver Glasner of Wolfsburg, who has left to join, or I've, I've got myself all confused now. Oliver Glasner has joined Eintracht Frankfurt as their manager and has left Wolfsburg, which is an odd decision, especially considering the fact that Wolfsburg are in the Champions League. And he's most likely to be replaced by Mark van Bommel. And by Leverkusen have Sioni from Young Boys as to replace Hannes Wolf, who was the interim, and then Peter Bosch, who got sacked early on in the season. So it's, it's, it's a lot has happened. Seven out of the top eight teams don't have, or the manager they finished the season with is not going to be their manager on the first game back. And so, obviously, I would have asked you who's going to succeed the best. Obviously, you would probably say Nagelsmann. But taking Nagelsmann out of the picture, which of these do you think is, is best fit and most likely to succeed in, in one way? Well, I mean, you, I mean, you could still keep Nagelsmann in by the fact that you expect Bayern to win the Bundesliga, yeah. and that you'd then you'd put his um, expectations on winning the Champions League or winning at least the cup as well. Um, but it's just mad that because obviously you know it happens a lot with managerial changes, especially in modern football, that managers don't get given a lot of time. But for it to happen and and most of them to stay within the Bundesliga and switch clubs to rival clubs, that's what's the the mad thing about it um but in terms of who could do well uh, do the best i mean um i'm really excited about marco rosa joining dortmund but only if they invest the right way this summer because i mean hopefully they can look out, uh, uh, keep hold of sancho and, and erling Haaland as well but then you've got to look at investing in the defense and trying to shore that up as well which is Obviously, what Marco Rosa had done, but you know, had the players there that were already shored up. Obviously, brought in Stefan Leiner and Rami Bentabani, but you know, it, it was already shored up with Ginter and Elvedi. Um, but also, um, well, I'll be interested to see how Wolfsburg go about if it is Mark van Bommel that comes in, how they go about their Champions League campaign because obviously they were fantastic this season in terms of their defence and, and the way that they played and that all came from Glasgow and you heard from interviews from the players they all loved working under him and felt that thought that the way that they played was was really really good so for them to you know carry on as the squad that they are but without Glasgow is going to be very interesting um, but yeah I'm, I'm not I'm not too sure who I think is going to do the best I mean even even Suarez at at, um, at Leverkusen is going to be an interesting one because I've never I've, I've obviously not watched Swiss football so I've I've not kept up on how he plays or what what kind of. What's interesting about this is he 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 masterminded Leverkusen's exit from the Europa League and completely yeah. obliterated them in in the first leg, and so they've cut. There's probably where they thought, okay, we're going to get him. Definitely. Like you're used to seeing them sign players who have done well against them, but they've gone, okay, we'll get the coaching instead. Yeah. Um, but in, in, if I have to give an answer, I'd say that I'm, I'm hopeful that Marco Rosa will, will have a really good first season with them. It depends a lot on who they bring in in the summer. I, I think for me, I'll be interested to see how Jesse March does, especially with who they bring in. So if they bring in, obviously Dominic Sabozla is already there. But if they bring in like Pats and Dacker, who's performed quite well for Salzburg, 
as well as some of some of the other players that have like Muwepe and Koita possibly. I'm not saying they're going to happen. Patendak is probably the most likely one, but players that he's used at Salzburg and have thrived under him. It'd be interesting to see if he can recreate that. But obviously, Sabozlai is was injured when he joined, and so hopefully next season, especially under Marsh, he's able to kind of light up the league, possibly. Yeah. Hope, yeah. The great, the great thing about Leipzig is that um, you know you think in the summer where they've lost. Julian and I was when Canate's obviously just gone to Liverpool and the Kamakana to Bayern, that they're going to really struggle next season. But then you think they brought in, obviously, as you mentioned, Schwarzlai hasn't played, so he's going to be like a new signing. Ryan Broby's already come in from Ajax. Um, Josip Guardial is going to come back from his loan at Zagreb and, and play. Simakan uh, has, has come from, uh, which team was he at? Montpellier, Strasbourg. I think. Strasbourg, thank you. Um, so they, they've already set themselves up for, for you know, being able to build on next on last season rather than struggle to you know, carry on what they had. You know, they've lost three really important parts of their of their puzzle. So I, I just love Leipzig's concept and you know, if, if they bring in those three guys, they're not going to lose it without replacing them properly. So yeah, I agree. It's going to be very interesting to see how, how Marsh does in his first season. Well, obviously, my, my heart would like to see Adi Hutter uh, mastermind some Shock Bundesliga title win for Simon and Gladbach. <laughs> well, I, I don't even know what's going to happen there, genuinely, because obviously Matthias Ginter is looking at possibly leaving. And then you've got Dennis Sicaria and Florian Neuhaus, who are two of the most touted midfielders in Europe. And that's not an exaggeration. That is genuinely fact. And so it'd, be, it, it, it'd just be interesting to see how everything um, kind of pans out. 